Okay, so just like we did with the feet, we're going to make the rest of the fingers. The logic is the same. We duplicate and then we press Ctrl W to change polygroup. We move the finger and then repeat the process. Duplicate, we change polygroup and we move. And the same goes for the thumb. We duplicate, then we move and we rotate the thumb. Something like this. And then we move it to the right place. Once we have all the elements in the right position, we start to combine them. Merge down, always OK. Merge down. These fingers have less polygons than the toes. The process is shorter. Let's hide this finger. I really gotta create some shortcuts in here. So we have to rotate them. I prefer transpose. With a lower subdivision. So, here the process is very similar to the one on the toes. Let's look at the reference. First of all, the fingers are placed like this. And second, if we look the hand from the front, we shouldn't see a straight line like this. It should be something like this. The palm should look a bit curved. Third, if we look at the reference, we see that the fingers are not totally straight. When we close our hand, the uh, fingers go in this direction. That's why the little finger, as well as the ring finger, tend to look inwards. That's also why they join here. So, we gotta rotate them slightly. Let's rotate it a bit and then we place it down. This one should be lowered a bit as well. We rotate and then we lower it slightly. This one should be lowered the most. Right here and we rotate. I'm realizing now that uh, these fingers are too short now. So, move brush, and if we need to shorten them again, that's no problem.
we rotate here the thumb shows only two phalanges one here and this one here in this case we'll make the thumb a bit more thicker than the rest of the fingers Once the fingers are placed in the right position, we select the move brush to start deforming the fingers. They should look different from each other to a certain degree. Let's open this finger a bit. It would be great if all the pieces were part of the same subtool. But as they don't share the same amount of subdivisions, it gets very complicated. When looking at the fingers from the front, they shouldn't look so circular, more like a novel shape. Let's get this curve here right. Let's adjust this thumb a bit.
we'll leave this video here uh, we'll continue in the next with more details on the palm of the hand so see you in the next video